Hi, I'm Keith. I'm going to show you how to change the engine oil, engine oil filter, and refill the oil on a Cat 314E. I'll be going over the differences between this machine and other brands as in Hitachi and Volvo so that you can use this video to change those items as well. First thing that we have to do is there's a belly pan underneath the machine. We've got to remove that belly pan. You're probably going to have to do this for most makes and models. Some machines you can reach up and open the engine oil drain by hand without removing it, but we're going to show you to change this any, or to remove this belly pan anyways. On this particular machine, there's four bolts that hold the belly pan on. Some machines have six, some machines have more. This particular belly pan, some other models, including Hitachi, John Deere, and Volvo, the ones further in, the bolt holes are slotted. So you don't have to take the bolts out, you can just loosen them. Then the other two, you'll remove the bolts, and then you can just slide it off the front too. It makes it easy for installation as well. You can slide it on, and you don't have to hold a heavy belly pan up in place. The next step is to grab an empty bucket so we can catch the oil. Some machines take more than one empty bucket, depending on the size, make, and model. Make sure you have enough empty buckets to catch the used oil so we don't create a mess on the, on the ground. So on this particular machine, it has a ball valve right here with a small hose attached to it. Some machines right in the bottom will have a drain plug, which you'll have to remove the drain plug. Now careful when you remove that drain plug because as soon as it comes out, oil will be coming out. In this case, I'm going to put an empty bucket underneath this hose and when I open this ball valve, the oil will come out of this hose and be caught in an empty bucket. I'm going to crack the ball valve loose. This one is more of a needle valve instead of a ball valve, so you actually have to unscrew it a few turns. The further you unscrew it, the faster the engine oil starts to come out. Now we can just let that drain. Now that the engine oil is finished draining, we're gonna close the valve, we're gonna put the belly pan back on. In this case, I am gonna use pliers to make sure that it is tight enough. Now you can put the belly pan back on. And that is how you drain the engine oil out of almost any excavator.